liked my um, grocery haul or food shopping haul that I did for you um, a couple of weeks ago on this channel so I thought I would do another one this one's a little bit different I have done my first ever I I know I use technology all the time so don't so don't laugh but I've done my first ever online food shopping order um, I always go into the shop because I usually like having a browse and things and um, my friend has recently had a baby she like with having the baby she decided to do online shopping and she did it with Sainsbury's and she highly recommended them so I thought I would try it out for myself and the reason that I don't normally do online food shopping is because I in the past have looked at different um, companies and say I've meal planned one day ready to go shopping the next day and I've looked online and there's no delivery slots for the next day you usually have to wait a day or two um, so I was always a bit put off um, doing that um, my friend sort of said that you know with Sainsbury she hadn't found that so I thought I would give it a go and um, I decided to look at what the delivery times and dates were before I placed my order and um, I placed my order yesterday afternoon and um, it's less than 24 hours and it's here in fact he was early he rang me up and said he was in the area could he come early of course I said yes um, so I'm really impressed and because um, I had an afternoon delivery slot I had free delivery and um, which is really good because I think by the time because I'm in like out from the town by the time I've driven to town with petrol and then paid for paid for parking um, that's really really good and then I found an offer online where you get 20 pounds off your your first online shop so that was really really good so I thought why not let's just give it a go you know see you don't have to do it again so um, oh it's here all the items are in bags and there's some out there um, the chap offered to bring it right in to the kitchen from the door and put it next to the fridge or or whatever but um, I said it was fine because I've got the bunnies roaming around and you know it's just not that far so um, so he was really really good he was really really thorough I totally recommend Sainsbury's because I know my mum used to do internet shopping food shopping and she used to get fed up with Tesco's and all the substitutions really short dates on items and she used to get really fed up with that so when the chap came he ran me through the system um, and basically if there are any substitutions or low date food they're in blue carrier bags so this is my normal food and this is where there's any substitutions um, but basically the substitutions were like identical like I ordered button mush button cut mushrooms and like they it was like 50 grams different so I'm not going to quibble about that so that was really really good and the low shelf life products to be honest with you it was only in two days and it was salad and stuff that I was going to eat like mal anyway so that's absolutely fine so so far I've been really impressed by the customer service and the quality of the you know like the procedure and everything the website was really really user friendly so thus far I'm really impressed I'm worried that I may have forgotten stuff, but also I think, because I'm a big, when I go round the shop, I tend to see stuff on offer or stuff that looks nice, and I'll put it in my trolley, and I've actually saved about £30 on this shop, so that kind of worries me, either, either I've forgotten a load of stuff, or because... Or it saved me loads of money because I haven't gone around the shop and gone, oh, that looks nice, oh, that looks nice, and bought naughty things. Um, so <laughs> we shall see. And that has its plus points as well because sometimes you forget to put something on your list and you're kind of going past something and you see it. So I'm not sure. So anyway, that's enough rambling. Um, I shall get stuff out on the counters and then I will do a haul and show you what I bought. Okay, so not packing my bags myself, it's sort of difficult to know, isn't it, which, um, what's in what bags. But I think that's all the vegetables. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I've got six courgettes, because even though Mr B's courgettes are almost ready, um, we're not sure when they will be ready. And we eat a lot of courgettes, and I will always make something with his once they've grown anyway. So, cool. Um, got a cauliflower. 
and this is the, a lot of these have got um, like Union Jack packaging in and so this is all stuff that's come from Britain um, so like that's come from Cornwall because I I try where possible to buy organic things if it's at the right price as you'll know if you've seen our uh, video on why we're vegetarian but if I can't or you know and I also try and buy local as well because of you know environmental issues like air miles and stuff so that's how I try I don't always succeed but Sainsbury's were very good at having a lot of British products so that's good um, we've got a bag of curly kale that's not for us that's for the rabbits and piggies because they love it um, I got two basil plants I don't think I needed two basil I think I must have ordered two basil but that's okay because um, we do eat a lot of basil and the girls like their basil so I'm sure we'll put those to good good use and I've got four sweet potatoes now they're probably a little bit smaller than the ones that I would have chosen if I was in the shop myself like you know they're not a bad size but that being said um, they may not have had many big ones anyway so I um, because I went for when I was shopping I kind of went for the stuff that was in packets like a twin pack rather than by weight because I don't really know what 500 grams of sweet potato looks like whether that's one or 20 you know so so yeah, I went for ones in packets so that's probably why it's a bit smaller um six red onions I've got two massive bags of carrots so they were bigger than what I was expecting but it's okay the girls love a carrot or two I've got a coriander again that Union Jack on there so it's grown in Britain um, my mushrooms, uh, I've got a whole bag of limes and a whole bag of lemons. The lemons, I've got the basics lemons, so they're a little bit smaller than perhaps I would want, but never mind, it's okay, you know, we can still work with those, it's good. But I've got four aubergines and um, the aubergines are a good size, so that's good because I've got quite a few things I want to do with aubergines. Uh, I've got a bag of um, baby leaf spinach, two bags of fresh peas, um, some avocados. Now I was confused by the avocados. These are a basics range, so they're a bit they're a bit cheaper, and there's four in the packet. But they're not quite ripe; they're quite hard. So it says ready for ripening. So um, just need to leave them to ripe for a few days, but we'll see and they're a little bit smaller than the ones i bought from waitrose but we'll see we'll see how we go um i can't remember what they call these these peppers oh it's a sweet sweet red pepper i really like those and they're just a normal red pepper um a cucumber um a pack of coriander so i bought one already in a packet and one live because I've got a few recipes that I like to put coriander in and um, I just basically if you buy one that's sort of still live it lasts a little bit longer but yeah so that's why I did that um, I've got two bags of rocket some mint and two thingies of spring onions um, so yes Although I could have sworn I bought some some um, you know, like salad leaves, but I haven't found them yet, so maybe I didn't buy them. Um, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. No. So we'll see. I'll put this off away, and then I'll do the next lot. Right. Next up, we've got dairy products. So I've got half a dozen um, eggs. I wish now that I'd ordered more. Because I went out last night and John made himself a Yorkshire pudding and a cake and so used up way more eggs than I thought. Bless him. Um, so later on in the week I'll have to get some more eggs for the weekend. But never mind, that's not a problem. Um, somehow I've ended up with three boxes of phyllo pastry. I know I definitely needed, my recipe needed two. Um, so I'll just have to be imaginative with the third one. Well, we shall see. Um, okay, so I've got a big tub of mascarpone and two tubs of sour cream because we eat a lot of Mexican food. Or oh, I just put sour cream with everything because I love it. I love it. Cheese is a massive problem for us. 
<laughs> um, so a Greek feta, um, a hard goat's cheese, two of halloumi, and two mature cheddar. But in my defence, I bought the lighter one, so it's a little bit better, a little bit. See, reduced fat. Yeah, keep telling yourself, Anna. And then a um, semi-skimmed milk. Right, so this is the last of the stuff. So we've got a um, nine loo roll. Um, everyone needs loo roll. Um, <laughs> and um, some Ecova cleaning wipes I use these on the surfaces in the kitchen. Um, so the laundry gel, the dishwasher tablets, and the fabric conditioner, it's all the Ecova brand. I like to use that for my cleaning. On the toiletries line, I've only got some hair mousse for myself. They were on buy one or some sort of offer and um, some cotton pads. I'm pretty sure I meant to pick up some shower gel, but I've obviously forgotten to do that. So I do have a little bit left. So we're really stocked up on toiletries. I went into town. Of, in fact, I'm going to town on Saturday so I can get myself some. Um, stocked up on some toiletries and boots the other week because they had loads on three for two and let's face it everyone likes a saving so when all this sort of stuff's on three for two i um tend to get it because it keeps so why not um pine nuts i've got three tins of sweet corn because i'm going to do that sweet corn taco um so sweet corn salsa recipe again and John really really liked it and these were on three for two so I figured I might as well because we both really liked it. Um, some Kalamata olives, I haven't tried the Sainsbury's ones so we'll see. Um, some breadcrumbs, four things of black beans because oh my gosh we eat black beans like nobody's business in this house. Um, an olive oil spray because I find that sometimes when you're doing like wedges or something you don't want to drown them in olive oil so a little spritz of the spray just works a treat um, then we've got a big jar so a big bottle of olive oil three things of Doritos mild salsa because again these are on a three for two offer and we get through those like nobody's business as well some whole wheat lasagna sheets Two jars of pesto, green basil pesto, because again they were on um, they were on offer. Uh, four tins of chickpeas, because again they were on offer, they were four for a pound, so that is bargain central. Um, then I've got three packs of the tortillas, again these were on a three for two, and these have a really long date on them normally, if, I, if you can see the date. Ah. I can't see the date. But anyway, they normally have a really long date on them, so, um, and we get through them a lot. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so they go out of date in January, so I'm pretty sure they won't make it till next week, let alone January. Um, whole wheat pita breads, and then a seeded loaf, and then very lastly, we've got some um, whole grain sultana bran cereal and special cake. And that is everything that I bought. There's my baggage. Um, I read on their things and also that the driver said that um, if I save my bags up, if I have another delivery or if I go in store, um, they will take the bags off me and recycle them or reuse them or whatever they do. So that's that's good because I'm you know conscious of environmental stuff like that. So yeah, pretty good. The only thing I know is a shower gel, but I'm going into town anyway on Saturday so I can pick one up. And also, I didn't buy any fruit. Um, fruit is never at my forefront of thinking to pick up, so I never put it on my list. But then when you normally go through the supermarket, like the fruit's normally at the front, so I kind of pick fruit up. So that's the only thing that I haven't really bought. Um, and I think there was nothing out of stock. I have everything that I ordered, which is great. Because sometimes when you go, when you do a shopping in shop, there's things that you can't get. So all in all, I'm really impressed with um, Sainsbury's. So I, I'm pretty sure that I will use them again for online shopping. There's my fridge. Oh, it feels nice to have lots of green things in my fridge again. So there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.